Got another one. Got another one. Red Bear is pushing these things out like water. Saying, man, everybody come get one. Chaos bundles, baby. This one, this one, is a Himyum. Oh, a Himyum, baby. How I Met Your Mother. So basically, we got packs with moms in them. Women. Women. No, but um, the, the bonus cards is a little bit different this time. Usually, he'll put in like one of something for every, every one of them. But this one's different. Basically, took the San Diego Comic-Con, I think 2018, which is the very expensive plane walkers, and took the five of those and put them in five random bundles out of the 36 bundles or so. So you basically have a one in seven chance of getting one. Those are the big hits. Otherwise, just get packs. That's it. Security. Hey, stay on. Chris, stay on. Okay. Let's bust this baby open. We're going to dump it. If, the, if we get the bonus card, it's in the bottom. Come on. Come on. No, oh, not for us. Not today. Not today. It's okay. We still have a core 2021, a core 2020, a core 2019, a War of the Spark, a Dominaria, and a Modern Horizons. So we're going to do it in the order it was in because Chris knows what he's doing. Who am I to tell him he's wrong? So I, I, we've said it a million times. We're going to say it again. Underworld Games and TG, you need to subscribe. You need to check them out. You know, watch his videos. You got to buy his bundles. As long as I can still get one and you guys don't buy mine, I'm more than happy with you all going there because I love these. I love these. And I have a feeling today, today we're going to hit a big. We're going to hit a big today. We're going to get an amazing pull. My Halloween one, the pulls and the packs were a little lacking, but not today. Today's going to be big. Keep positive. Positive, as some people would say. See, we already got a backwater. And a Temple of Epiphany, a rare land. I love rare lands, not temples, though. All right. A Stitcher, a Pyreling, and a Mentor. Did the Mentor used to be worth a little bit? I thought so. All right. Let's put the Temple over here. Core 2020. Oh, Soren's coming back. Vampires are coming back. Depending on which week I post this, they might kind of already be back. I don't know when I'm going to post this video. I already got a couple things in the pipeline, so we shall see. We shall see. All right, the Scourger. Oh, man, this was my favorite card from this set. I used to play my um, Orzhov, um deck with Life Gain, and, man, this thing was great. I don't know. I loved putting that with my Johnny's Pride Mate and just, oh. See, we got a Mythic, see? Asking you shall receive. A Cavalier of Night. Once again, this was in my deck as well because it is lifelink. It, this is beautiful. It was a beautiful combo. I, I, I absolutely loved it. All right. Coil common. Natural end. And the wilds. All right. It was 2019. Get a mythic. That's where it's at. That's where all the money's at here. Suspicious bookcase. A Meteor Golem. Psychic Symbiont. It's a rare, though. It's a Spit Flame. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. We're, yeah, we're not going to put you in the common pile. I mean, maybe you belong there, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that to you. Spit Flame. Sorry, but a card that does four damage to a target. I know you can bring it back into your hand, but, like, it should not be. It should not be a rare. There's a million cards that do that outside of Rares. Guys, things are sticking together. Chris, what'd you do to these cards? Oh my goodness. Do that on your own time. All right. Paradise Druid. Rails Outburst. Okay, good news. We didn't get an uncommon Planeswalker, so we have a rare or mythic Planeswalker. That's a good news. It's a rare one. It's a Tamio Collector of Tales. And we have a foil rare planeswalker. Oh, beautiful. Jace, Wheeler of Mysteries. Yes. This is one of the better rare planeswalkers of the set. And in foil, back when you didn't get foils, right? I don't know what the value of this guy is, but should be pretty decent. That's a big hit. I'm happy about that. A big hit for me. 
Not like a hundred bucks. Really. It's still a big hit. For me. I'm happy with it. We like those. That's what Chris would say. We like those. I do like those. The Eldest Reborn sagas back when people didn't want to really have sagas. More of the Weatherlight. And a rare a Black Babe. Black, Black Babe. Black Blade Reforged. This is actually a pretty good card if you have a lot of legendaries in your deck. It's, it probably has use in Commander, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it's only two mana. I'm equipping it is seven, but legendary is only three, right? So that's pretty decent. It's basically turn three. You can put this on somebody. It gets one-one for each land you control. Foil Mythic. See what I'm saying? See, I told you guys. I was like, man, last one, you, don't, you know, you don't know. A history of Banalia in foil. Probably not the best foil mythic they have in the set. It's a beautiful card, though. Once again, there were no collector boxes back then, so this is actually pretty decent to hit a mythic foil. You can only get one per case back then, and that and it was strict, one per case. Like, you weren't pulling three mythic foils. Now you can pull three mythic foils in a box. So, all right. Here comes the big one. I feel like we've done pretty good, honestly, so far. So I'm really happy that the big set, the big, the big pack is still to come. Okay, here we go. Whew, can we get another M? Can we get another M? I think we can get one more. One more, maybe? No, it's an R, but that's okay. On thin ice. Man, should have done this pack first. That's not the way you want to end it. All right, you got a wall of blossoms, a sliver, a talisman. I might have more value than on thin ice. All right. Oh, gosh, I did it again. You know, I took the card that was like, eh, nobody likes this, and I put it in the commons. All right, so here's the thing. Temple of Epiphany, eh. Cavalier and Knight's a good hit. Tamio is okay. Foil Jace and a Foil History of Benalia makes me happy. Those are happy hits for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe. Go over to Underworld Games. Tell them Dave sent you. And, and start getting these things, man. They're fun. And, uh, and I think he's going to start a subscription service, he said, so you get a monthly uh, box, which is pretty cool. So uh, as always, guys, Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video.